Here are two of the custom 3D printed base plates. The input to the filter jack is a switch jack and the side the switch side is wired to the oscillator output so it's pre-patched oscillator output to filter input. The input to the oscillator is also pre-patched, it's switched, and it's pre-patched to the power input. So this cable sticking out the side here is how you play power, but also it's also the control on that is also the it goes through the switched input jack to the oscillator input. So you can put a module in front of this, uh, a little bit module in front of this, and control these devices. So now I've plugged in the oscillator and filter modules and hooked up a power bit to the input. So I take the amplifier out input and plug into the oscillator output. So I have the oscillator. So I can plug it to the filter output. Now I remember as the switched input on the os filter is wired to the oscillator output by default. But by plugging something into the into the filter input jack, I can override that. So here, the input to this Eurorack module is being fed through the sequencer. It's a little bit sequencer. It's coming out, coming in. It's powering the units, these two units, and it's, a, it's a controlling the oscillator frequency here. So what I'm going to do is use this the splitter and I can wire in another unit to do the frequency modulation of the filter as an example coming in through this input. So here the filter input which is actually goes up to here filter input I have a simple jack and wired up to a little bits output connector. I can plug this into the filter input and this oscillator here and uh, is just generating the control voltage for the filter and I'm using the, the little bits bar graph to show that it's how it's changing. Now, instead, I can unplug the filter modulation and plug it into the oscillator input frequency modulation. Instead. So I'm patching using the jacks rather than the little bits connectors. So one thing we do, do soon will be to build a power unit so it's powered from the Eurorack supplies rather than from a uh, BITS module. Then I won't need to have the power 
connector, I can just use like, these jack jacks to do the, the control. So the control voltage on the input power is it just goes into this switch unit. So next thing to do is make a few more modules. I also plan to make some purely uh, analog modules to provide extra functionality that the little bits currently doesn't provide, such as pulse width modulation, um, make a uh, ramp and sawtooth, the basic analog inverter, etc.